At the 2022 D23 Expo, very little was announced for the Disney parks, mainly just speculation and updates. But Disney has a reputation for announcing projects at D23, then cancelling them shortly after. Let's explore the history of some of the cancelled D23 announcements. At the first D23 Expo in 2009, Disney announced the new Fantasyland expansion coming to Magic Kingdom in the former location of the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea Lagoon and Mickey's Toontown Fair. This expansion would see Dumbo doubling in size, a Beauty and the Beast restaurant and meet and greet, a Little Mermaid attraction and meet and greet, a Pixie Hollow area, a Cinderella meet and greet, and a Sleeping Beauty meet and greet. You may be wondering what happened to those last three. Dreams Come True of Cinderella and a birthday surprise for Sleeping Beauty would have been located in the centre of the Enchanted Forest section of the expansion, acting as enhanced meet and greets in the similar vein to Enchanted Tales with Belle. Meanwhile, Pixie Hollow would be a Tinkerbell themed play area and meet and greet section that would replace Mickey and Minnie's houses in Toontown, with Dumbo and the Barnstormer being located on the opposite side of the area. However, when the plans were announced, a lot of fans complaints stated that there wasn't enough announced for boys to do and there was going to be too many meet and greet locations. In January 2011, Disney announced the updated plans for New Fantasyland. Whilst the Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid themed areas would remain, Pixie Hollow was scrapped and replaced with Storybook Circus, a circus themed neighbourhood where guests could meet Minnie Mouse, Goofy, Donald and Daisy in circus outfits plus the Casey Jr. Splash Station play area. The main difference was, re was the replacement for the centre of the expansion. Instead of a Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty meet and greet, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train Coaster would be built in Phase 2 of the expansion, creating a new family roller coaster for the area. As a result, the nearby Snow White Scary Adventures was closed to make way for the Princess Fairytale Hall meet and greet location. The final result for New Fantasyland proved to be more popular with fans of all ages and certainly more diverse in its offerings than the initial plans. At the 2017 D23 Expo, several new attractions were announced to open in time for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary, including Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and Tron Light Cycle. While some of these attractions eventually opened later than planned, one attraction announced was cancelled before construction even began. A new theatre, inspired by Kansas City's Willis Theatre, would have been added to Magic Kingdom's Main Street, adding an expansion to the land in behind the Main Street. Whilst the entertainment for the space was not announced, the theatre would have provided some extra capacity for the park. However, one day in April 2018, Disney removed any reference to this theatre from their coming soon pages with the only remnant that the project ever existed being the initial announcement on the Disney Parks blog during the D23 Expo. The 2019 D23 Expo announced several major projects that ended up being scrapped, particularly for Epcot, due to the 2020 park closure. A major announcement in 2019 was the creation of a Mary Poppins themed attraction coming to the United Kingdom Pavilion although details about this attraction was sparse. Another announcement was a refurbishment for Spaceship Earth that would alter the attraction's story to be about storytelling instead of communication, as guests are guided by a story light. Finally, the Centre for Wild Celebration neighbourhood would feature a brand new elaborate three-storey festival pavilion, replacing interventions. However, once the parks reopened in 2020, all three projects were silently removed from the Epcot experience, an area dedicated to previewing what was planned for the theme park. Whilst Mary Poppins and the Spaceship Earth Rehaul are believed to be completely cancelled now, the Festival Pavilion was reimagined and announced in May 2022 to become Communicore Hall and Plaza, now a one-storey building for the festivals. Another substantial announcement for the 2019 D23 Expo was Reflections, a lakeside resort coming to the former location of River Country, Walt Disney World's abandoned water park. The lobby for the hotel would have featured a Pocahontas statue and there would have been a Princess and the Frog themed restaurant. 
construction did begin on this project, the river country was flattened to make way for the new hotel. However, due to the COVID-19 lockdown in 2020, construction was paused and was not picked up again once the parks reopened. By April 2021, any sign of construction in the area had been removed and Reflections was officially cancelled. With all these projects announced, then ultimately cancelled, it is understandable why Disney were reluctant to announce anything new at the 2022 D23 Expo. Hopefully the few things announced, like San Francisco and the multiverse attraction, will be created and not added to the growing list of announced and cancelled projects. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next on the Distro Channel.